Today we're headed to the gun range. We got my kids uh, a new 22 rifle, and it was supposed to be an uh, end of the school year gift for them, but we all know how that worked out. So I couldn't wait any longer. I was pretty excited to give it to them. If I'm really honest with myself, I would say this is a gift for me as much as it is for my kids. Not necessarily because it's getting a new gun, but because uh, I'm really looking forward to using it with them and getting the opportunity to shoot with them. Some of my best memories from growing up were shooting guns with my dad in our backyard. So I'm a little bit a little bit nervous about welcoming you all into the video. I know here in Butler we've got tons of guys who know a ton about shooting guns. There's definitely a difference between uh, knowing how to do something yourself and teaching someone else how to do it. So I'm just kind of reviewing the basics in my mind right now. Uh, forgive me if you see me forgetting some technical detail of it. And one of the things as a dad that I deal with sometimes is I need to be afraid sometimes to try to teach my kids how to do things because if I can't teach them how to do it perfectly, well then, you know, I might lead them astray in some way. Deep down, I am sort of a perfectionist myself. And so, um, one of the things that I've learned is that it's really not about the fact that I need to be a perfect dad or I need to teach you how to do stuff exactly right. It's about just taking what I know and teaching them uh, what I know. Uh, I heard someone say one time, and it's really made a lot of sense, uh, when it comes to teaching others, we're not responsible to fill up their cup of knowledge or ability. We're responsible to empty our cup of knowledge or ability into them. Hey, we're here, we're gonna get loaded up, get ready to go. Uh, hey bud, will you take this, the targets for me? Yeah. If you're wondering why I have cinder blocks and a catch basin in my trunk, because I'm always in the middle of about seven projects at one time. So I know some of you gun enthusiasts are gonna wanna know what kind of 22 did we get? So we got a Savage Rascal, a bolt action single shot with peep sights. I really liked it because it's small, it'll fit my sons. And as they get better at shooting open sights, we can add a scope to it. So that's the gun that we're gonna be learning on today. Okay, let's let's cover some basics, okay? Just to make sure we're being safe. You got it? You wanna do that? All right. Okay, the first thing is, that's the trigger, all right? So the most important thing about the trigger is you never put your finger on the trigger until your gun is pointed at what you're going to shoot and you're ready to shoot it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. This is the safety right here. You see how it's red? Yes. And then when I move that back, the red is covered. Yes. Okay. Whenever you can see the red because the safety is off, mm -hmm. think fire. Okay. Fire is red. So when you can see red, the gun is ready to fire. When you move the safety back, the gun can't fire. Now here's the important thing though, okay? Mm -hmm. You always assume the gun is loaded and you'll always assume that the safety is off, even if you know that it's on. So you never point a gun ever, even if you, if you know it's unloaded and if you know the safety is on, you never point it at a person or anything that you, you don't want to shoot, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you're carrying a gun, you want to carry it pointing either at the ground or forward, never at people, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so this gun has peep sights, okay? See how in the back the sight has a very, very tiny hole? Yeah. And in the front there's sort of a round cylinder-like thing? Yeah. You're going to look in that hole. You're going to find the front little cylinder. Mm -hmm. And then you put it right on top of whatever you want to shoot. Yep. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get ready. We're going to open this, the action. Let me grab a bullet. Hold the front with this hand. Take the bullet. Okay. Put it in. Okay. Close the bolt. Work it in. Close it. Down. Okay. Now we know that the safety is on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see if we can get... Uh, is that is that too high? Okay. Are you closing your left eye? Yeah. Okay, right eye. Can you see the hole? Yeah. Can you see the, the sight in the front? Yes. Okay, can you put it on the target? Yes. Okay. You want to take a shot? Yeah. All right, which target are you going to shoot at? Uh, the big one. The big one in the middle? Mm-hmm. All right. Take your thumb, push the safety forward so it's off. There you go. Now you're ready to shoot. Squeeze. Slow. All right. Want to shoot again? Mm -hmm. 
I know you're hitting the target somewhere because I can hear it hit the paper. So with the bolt action, if you slide it faster, it'll eject the shell for you. So put it up, now pull back. Here, I'll, do, I'll show you how with my hand. See how if you pull back fast, close it, safety on, bolt open. Okay, so you know for sure there's no bullet in there. You want to go take a walk and see how we did? Yeah. All right. So we learned that it's shooting high. So on a gun, you have what's called elevation and windage. What do you think elevation is? Going up. Up and down. Okay, elevation is up and down. So if you think of elevation, it's like going up a mountain, you're at a higher elevation. If you go down the mountain, you're at a lower elevation. Windage, which way does the wind blow? This way or that way? Horizontal. So windage is your left and right, okay? So we need to adjust the elevation. Wait, oh, wow, okay. All right, you want to try again? Yeah. All right, okay, you, you're going to load it this time, okay? So, bullet it in. Bolt all the way closed. Down. Good. You got, the, you got your safety on. Are you ready to shoot? You're making, you're making some crazy faces. Okay, if that happens, you can just take the gun, roll it a little bit, and it'll fall out. <laughs> All right, I think we hit our first bullseye. We're pretty excited about that. Let's go check it out. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the bullseye. Easton, let me see the thumbs up, buddy. Okay, so if you were teaching somebody how to shoot a gun now, what would you tell them? Um, not to put the trigger, I mean, to put your hand on the trigger until you're ready and keep it on safe until you want to shoot it. Okay, is your safety on now? No, because I was just about to shoot. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And where should you point the gun? Um, at the ground or at like a target. Okay. Where you shooting. Okay, let's see how we do it. It's shooting high or you're shooting high, but it's pretty good. How many did you shoot at it? Uh, I think you shot four and one of these was yours, but these are these are good. <laughs> Tell me about your first time shooting your 22. What, what was it like? Good. Don't just say good. You got to say something more than that. Come on. Great. Great's not an answer either. What do you thought? Perfect. perfect? Okay, I saw your shooting. It wasn't perfect. What did you like about it? Um, Just having fun. What was the hardest part about it? Mm, aiming. Aiming was pretty tough, huh? Do you think you'd like to do it again? Yeah. All right. So we just had our, our first day shooting our 22. It went pretty well. We're headed home, not to the hospital, which is always a bonus. He did really well. The, the gun shot okay. Uh, he did a great job shooting. We were safe. We learned a little bit. And we enjoyed being outside. Had a great day together. Hope you have a great day as well. We'll see you soon.